refers to how other board members feel or what their what their concerns are or what they're so please keep that in mind as, as you speak as well and then maybe that will lead the public more to hear. Okay, any other thoughts? Just as a staff comment, I've definitely absolutely made eyes on at least two separate resolutions that were passed outlining um, the destruction of documents in accordance with um, guidelines. So I, I know that if anybody wants to look those up on ECO, they're there. Ms. Evans still won't believe it. Well, the documents that were in those empty file cabinets and the ones that were boxed and put away, those file cabinets were destroyed. We had to move them because when they redid the, when they redid the bathroom, and they made the restrooms larger for ADA compliance, mm -hmm. they had to take the file cabinets out of there. This is where they ended up. Can I please finish, Michelle? Okay, <laughs> just let me finish and then you can chat. So what Ms. Evans was saying, Ms. Evans Borns was saying that they were all destroyed, that is not the truth. They were all boxed away. The cabinets were destroyed because they had to be moved out of the hallway to enlarge the bathroom. And it's just sitting here, I'm signing checks. I'm looking forward, I agree, I'm looking forward when the full board will take part in signing a check. It's arduous, it's stressful, and all five of us are making motions that are spending money in this township. Maybe you guys have a better idea. And there's only several of us signing the checks. So that that working mm. forward to the day where we're all working together, I'm really anxiously I'm, looking forward. Yeah, I am looking forward step. to the day that there is monthly bank reconciliations and there's monthly financial reports by a treasurer and there's there is where you're not concerned about signing checks because you get the information about the invoices more than the day of the meeting or or that you know where the, the bank accounts are. So hey, you do you. you. If you feel comfortable, you feel comfortable. But um, when I feel more comfortable... I um, think that's a good point. And to your point, Supervisor Dupree, mm -hmm. as, as equally as you should have access to everything in the building with the, with the guidance mm -hmm. of the staff, you also have every right to put on the agenda that you want to spearhead a, a um, scanning project and clean up the the has to do with the bank. With the well, well and I was going to say, you also <laughs> have the ability to put on the agenda that you want to increase the um, monthly C and L. Excuse me, the monthly C and L statement. You can easily do that and talk to the board. See how the board feels. I'm still trying to figure out why I'm not being provided with already in Mr. Palermo's uh, bucket list. I'm, I'm I sorry. mean, what he gave us okay. as his list of duties and our list of duties in January, I'm not being, it says he's doing the monthly uh, and reconciliations. I explained, I explained that to you, ma'am, and said if you have questions, Frankly, you are more than welcome to call him. It should just be provided. It's he said you can call him and he'll give you whatever you need. It is provided. What I think maybe you're looking at here, I have it right here because I just signed his bill. And on his bill, he lays out what he's billing for and it's... Do you have his fees? Um, there is a, I'll, so, I'll email it to all of you, but there so, is a list of things that he was going to provide. So here's what Frank did for this month. It's part of the check that I and Chuck Pratt did sign. Um, okay, so he reconciled all of the township bank accounts for May and June for township supervisor review. He reviewed all of the overlooked sewage bills and payments. He reconciled the township financials through June and prepared financial reports. He reviewed liquid fuel income and expenses to provide breakdown of eligible funds. He had discussions with township staff and supervisors. Regarding bank accounts, including classifications and possible closings, he emailed supervisors regularly. Regarding prior year audit reports, management representation letters, and legal representation letters, and he has various phone calls with township supervisors. Regarding prepared financial questions, regarding reports. I don't know how he did that. I'm saying I was never provided any of that. I haven't provided any bank records. That's that's an internal well, year, and they're put in the box. Yeah, that's all with the QuickBooks, and, and he, he, he does that with Monday. the treasurer. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty common for townships to give some sort of monthly financial report. Or it's not. It's, if you yeah. want that, if all of us felt comfortable with a quarterly so report. Providing reconciliations, they're just coming here. If 
which we have this on paper, right? Why isn't it just you can a ask him that. That's a two stroke <coughs> question to report, do a PL statement. And if you would want that, you have every opportunity to get that. You keep saying a PL statement. I keep talking even about bank reconciliation, bank balances. Oh, you can come look at those. They're here. Why can't they just provide it? Well, no, offer? bank reconciliations are probably. The, Bobby, would you say the bank rec are There's, what, 14 bank accounts. And, and they're pretty, I mean, that would be really That's very hard to not all the scams that were, that were there. <laughs> but I think any supervisor can come down and look at those bank recs any time of the day. I mean, I'm quite sure that's a possibility. Now, the profit and loss statement, if you're looking, you said you're pretty sure every township does it monthly. Now, you keep saying P&L, P&L. I'm, I'm saying they, that every township provides some sort of yeah, financial. Yeah, so it's profit and loss. It's, um, there's other ways. There's, there's bank balances. There's simple bank balance sheets. There's simple, there's, there's nothing. That, that no, there, we do have the bank balance sheet. If I can just interject real quick. I think that the point of this conversation was that, and if I'm hearing it correctly, that the Michelle would like to see monthly something, monthly reports to whatever her definition is. The rest of the board up until this point didn't find that mandatory. So if that's something, and I think I listened to this on the last meeting too, if that's something that should be discussed, let's put it on the next agenda and let's talk about it. It actually says that Mr. Palermo's um, beginning of the year thing that he was going to provide monthly bank reconciliations that he believes that the supervisor should sign off on every month. So then let's make sure Palermo CCs all board of supervisors on that. Like that's, that's a really easy fix. So you want all of that, was his, that was his recommendation. We did that for a while. We were working on bank accounts and we'll get them to sign off on them. We can start that. I mean, if, if, we, if, if you'd like that, right now, I mean, I feel pretty safe that it's going through a bonded treasurer assistant treasurer going through a bonded treasurer and then we have a third safeguard which what I'm told no township but your around third safeguard that. is suggesting to do that well then let's that do it like if you want if you want to do that you can't there's only so much that every one of us can do believe me I know this might be given to a sea camp I, I get it I'm doing I'm chipping away one thing at a time and so will we and we have this for you. So working together is a definite thing that, that can be done. And what you're requesting is easy. I think if you just put it on the agenda, it's easy, easy changes. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Did we get everything done here?